This is my intro for my finished 13 by Halloween and I am doing skincare this time. I have received a million Mimi boxes in the past and a lot of them contain skincare so I have a wide variety of skincare <laughs> that I need to work through before it goes bad. So one of the things that I thought about when I was thinking about this is that I have a lot of Korean beauty products and the Korean skincare steps are numerous. They're like, you know, 10 plus steps to the Korean skincare. So I thought that I would use as many steps as I can in skincare in this finish 13 by Halloween. So I have 13 different skincare products categories that I am going to be working on. So, and I actually had products in all 13 <laughs> categories. So let's get into this because I actually have more than 13 products. Quite a few of them are smaller sizes that I'm grouping together. So it's going to be long. So the first thing that I have is actually not Korean skincare. A few of these aren't, but if I had them open, if they were what I was currently using, then I did pick those. This is the Andalou Naturals Blossom and Leaf Toning Refresher. And this is the one I currently have open. It's also more natural, so I do want to use this up. I did have some Korean brand toners, but this one I think is in danger of going bad much more quickly than those are, so this is the one that I'm going to use. Then I have my day moisturizer, and that's the Shiseido Benefits Rico Resist 24 Day Emulsion. Again, this is not Korean, this is actually Japanese, but I am currently using this. I also don't have a lot of day moisturizers. Somehow I got more night creams than I ever got day moisturizers, but I am halfway done here. And if for some reason I do finish this fairly early on, I'll probably add in another one. And then for cleansing oil, I have the Holika Holika Soda Pore Cleansing BB Deep Cleansing Oil. And I have started using that recently, so this is the one that I did pick for this. Then I have a softener, which, I mean, honestly, I, I'm i not entirely sure what this product is supposed to do. But they have it, so I have it. And it is the Etude House Age Defense Essential Softener right here. And I have used this a little before, but not much, so it's almost full. Then I have a sleeping pack, and it is the Holika Holika Wine Therapy Sleeping Mask. And I am maybe not quite half done with this, if you can see that. But I have had this for quite some time, so I would like to finish that up. Then I have a random skin product, and that is the Tony Moly Pocket Bunny Moist Mist. And I've never even opened that, but I got it because it was cute. It's a little bunny. So, it just looks like this, and it is a spray. So the spray doesn't have all that much, but it's just one of those mists, like cooling mist kind of things. So I have that. Then I have a face oil, and that is the Goodall Repair Plus Essential Oil, and it just comes in this tiny little box. And I actually have never opened this either, so it's like this. It's a small size, but oil you don't need much of. Then I have another just kind of random product, and that is the Etude House Moistful Super Collagen Multi-Stick. And it basically says on here, because there are some English directions over on the side, that it's a stick balm containing 58% super collagen, and you apply before cream in the morning and night, apply frequently whenever skin needs care throughout the day. So I'm going to have to see 
how this works. And I may not finish this all because this is pretty big stick like this that truthfully I'm, I'm not really sure how I would use it at this point. Then I have two facial type things and these are just small little things that I want to get rid of. The first one is the Bliss Facial in a Box right here and it has two applications and then I'm also including in that the Peter Thomas Roth Instant Firm Temporary Face Tightener. And this was only supposed to be a couple use thing as well. Then I had three sample size essences. And these you would put on before you put on your moisturizer. And the first one is the Etude House Moistful Super Collagen Toner. Essence, not toner, essence. And then the Secret Key Starting Treatment Essence. And this is the CNK Special Day C Focus Essence. Then for nights I have a serum and that is the Palmetto Derma Collagen Booster and Restoration Serum. And I actually don't know where this came from. This must have come from like one of like Glossy Box or uh, Boxy Charm or something like that. Then I have two small regular cleansers that I wanted to use. The first one is the Benton Honest Cleansing Foam. And that's just a tiny little size. And then I had the Grain Ferment Cleansing Sherbet from Botanic Farm. And that's just a tiny jar there. And then the last thing that I have are night creams. And I have a bunch of little ones that I want to try to use up here. So the first one is this Snail Bee High Content Steam Cream. And I think it's from Benton. Right here. And then I have, and then I have the A True Darjeeling Black Tea First Anti Wrinkle Cream, and that is a tiny little jar there. Then I have the UB Moisturizing Skin Cream, the Hada Labo. Skin Plumping Gel, and this is a Japanese brand. I think you can now get it at Walgreens, though. This H2O Plus Hydrating Treatment, right here. And two small Benefit Moisturizer Samples. So, I think that is a good number of things to use. Hopefully I will be able to get through a good chunk of that because I really do have a lot of skincare I need to get through. And these smaller sizes will really help get call the numbers, I guess. So yeah, if you haven't checked out my previous video, it will be linked to the side. Now my Project Pan playlist is also linked to the side. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.